Along the coast of Maine, 5,000 fishermen devote their lives to the catching of lobster in coast. It lies in 5,000 lobster fishermen. This is their story, the story of the men and women in a fishing community like Korea. Korea, Maine, really too small to be called a town. 175 people live here, their homes built among coastal rocks on soil that is half sand, their lives filled with the sounds of the ocean and the seagulls cry, all of their lives dependent on the lobster. Here there are 55 licensed fishermen, every man but the storekeeper. These are men who grew up as lobster catchers like their fathers. Some of them are the third generation to take their living out of the sea and the lobster traps. Good years and bad, the men of Korea have sailed out of this small harbor to haul in their traps. Summer and winter, they sail home to the local dealer's wharf and sell their day's catch. fishermen have their own living and the shipping business are less important in our everyday life than they once were. But Camden men still build boats and sail them. Fishermen who reap the harvest from the cold coastal waters have their homes not far from the shore. Many of the newer houses are small. But the fine old mansions of shipbuilders are evidence of the prosperity of earlier times when sea captains regarded every New England harbor as a front door opening on the whole world. Our town, with less than 4,000 people, is like many towns of its size on the seacoast of northern New England. One distinction, however, is the fact that we have our flower boxes on our lamp posts to beautify the streets. Most of our stores and shops are along Main Street, which sometimes seems busier than one would expect in so small a town. This is because Camden is the trading center for the nearby farming country, as well as a summer resort which attracts visitors from inland Maine and from distant states. They enjoy its pleasant situation by the sea and help support its gift shops and other businesses. Maine has a diversity of scenery to be found few places in the world. It is a region of rugged timberlands, of cool, inviting lakes. It is a land of quiet villages, radiating the charm that is New England, of historic forts, monuments to the pioneers who came to establish themselves on the first frontiers of America, and of a rock-bound coastline known throughout the world. The capital of the state is Augusta. The history and course of development of Augusta have been shaped by the Kennebec River, for it is this river which furnishes the power for Augusta's industries and provides an important artery of transportation. The industrial heart of Maine is at the twin cities, Lewiston and Auburn. Lewiston is primarily one of Maine's most important textile manufacturing centers, while Auburn has more than a score of factories which turn out boots and shoes, the making of which ranks second in the state's industrial picture. The largest city in the state of Maine is Portland. Portland is the birthplace of Henry Wadgenfellow, 
And is the city the famous poet remembered wistfully as the beautiful town that is seated by the sea? For it is from the sea that Portland derives its most important industry, fishing. An industry which provides a livelihood for almost one-tenth of the state's total population. 